This is Yuvaskona, the largest city in central Finland. Over 30% of its population are students. It has more than 300 lakes and 20% of its total area is occupied by water. Yuvaskona has been one of the fastest growing cities during the 20th century and still is one of the most popular moving destinations in Finland. I've been to Yuvaskuna several times and each time I fell more and more in love with it. The city is located about 270 kilometers north from Helsinki and is very easy to reach. It's a major city so it has excellent bus, train and flight connections. A drive by car from Helsinki takes around 3 hours by the fastest route, but I highly recommend taking a slightly longer route and to drive through Pulkivan Harju. It's an insanely gorgeous route with an 8 km long chain of islands. The islands are connected to each other by bridges which rise above the beautiful lake Payane. It led just a little extra time to your schedule, but I promise, you won't regret it. On your way you can also find a parking space where you can stop and take a moment to enjoy the splendid Finnish nature. Yuvaskuna was founded in the northern end of the lake Payane. The second part of the city's name, Kuna, means village. And not a long time ago, Yuvaskuna was a small village at the crossroads of three major water waves. Most of today's Yuvaskuna was built after the Second Soviet Finnish War, when refugees from Karenia and other parts of the country moved to the city and housing was badly needed. Due to very rapid population growth, the cityscape has gone through one of the most massive changes in all of Finland. Nowadays, Yuvaskuna is jokingly called the offense of Finland. That is because it has a reputation as a center of high-quality education. The city's population is about 140,000 and every third person is here to study. The main reason for this is the prominent Yuvaskuna University. Thanks to the university, the demographic structure of the city is quite young, which is reflected in the active cultural life. Young energy is everywhere. The city is full of events and people, and the region itself is one of the leading locations for entertainment and cultural events in Finland. The University of Yuvaskuna is the only university in Northern Europe with a faculty of sports. It helps to create a strong sports culture in the city, which is why Yuvaskuna is also called the capital of Finnish sport. However, the life of the city doesn't only revolve around student parties. There are events for every age group, from children to senior citizens. The city itself is very comfortable and easy to navigate on foot, by bicycle or by the local bus. If you choose to explore the city on foot or by bicycle, there is a beautiful lakeshore path circling around Yuvasjarvi Lake. The full route is about 13 km, but if it's too worn, you can cut the circle by crossing the lake over Kuokawa Bridge. This bridge is a symbol of Yuvaskuna. It offers a great view of the lake shore and the city itself. It's also very beautifully illuminated at night. In general, Yuvaskuna has done a good job with the city lights, so it's very pretty to wander around even when it's dark. Yuvaskuna will quickly become familiar as it's very compact and the cityscape itself is very unique. 
In the middle of the city, there is a pine forested ridge, and it's an essential part of Yuvaskuna city center. You can climb on this ridge by the old steps built in 1925, and on top of it you'll find the city's observation tower. It's completely free and it's definitely a must-visit point in Yuvaskuna. Yuvaskuna is a great place to enjoy nature. In winter, Yuvasyarvi Lake turns into a skiing and skating rink. And in summer, I can't even count how many wonderful outside activities this place may offer in summer. Yuvaskuna is located in the Finnish lakeland and is surrounded by numerous lakes. Besides plenty of green areas, forests and lake landscapes in the city, you can also easily reach five national parks in central Finland and test plenty of natural trails, canoeing routes and hundreds of kilometers of cycling paths. <laughs> 